What do you think of the spot, Becca? I think this spot's in interesting. The first place I ever take her to in Texas. Yep. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we about to find out what y'all think, yes or no? It might just go down in record time right here, boys. Let me introduce you to the drain system. Spinner bait. Don't worry, they're here. Oh, there was a little fish just reached the surface. Maybe a little bit more subtle. Okay, they're not on this side. Street hopping. I see it. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Off the side of the street, big and big and. Okay, that's a big one. Dang. I was trying to get a story post, man. That was like a three pounder. Holy. That was gonna be an epic story post too, or an intro, or anything really. I just caught a fish and then chose not to reel it in pretty much. That was a solid three pounder off the side of the road. Would you believe that? I mean, literally, just, just drop that fish back in. Catch and release, you know how we do it in Texas. <laughs> got him, got him. That's another one. Got him. Urban bassin' boys. It's really deep right here. He'll be fine. Oh, 10 out of 10. Gotta tell you, it's been multiple videos in a row now. The uh, saucy swimmer is really tough to beat at this very moment. I mean, it's just catching them left and right. That's what I'm talking about. Haven't even met up with the gang yet. Would you believe it? Muscle rod, right? So you can rip them up here. Heavy line. Never know what they'll take you down in here. We got some reeds. We got some rock. Easily could break you off, so I bet you this is a 17 pound or so, 20 pound maybe. SLX XT reel, love this reel. It's affordable when you're talking about Shimano. I think it's like 140 after tax probably. Definitely one of my go-tos. Love it, love it, love it. And then this underspin, man. This like quarter ounce belly weighted hook with the blade, little flash. Still that natural presentation though with that Gobi Saucy Swimmer. It's tough to beat. Wish I would've pulled that three pounder up here for you guys, but it'll be fine. Did y'all get anything? How many? Woo! I got short struck a bunch of times on the little swim bait. I think there's like bluegill back there. Do y'all want to try that ditch I was at? I mean, there's probably one or two more that would bite. Anyways, back is in Texas, y'all. Ryan Ridge is joining us. We're with Fisherman Dad Jimmy. He's on the bank somewhere, and, and we really haven't caught many fish, so we're making a move. I think we're going up the street, maybe down the street. I don't know yet. We'll be fine. Right. Gets the fish fired up. Jimmy, watch out! He made it. All right. Oh. What? You lost him. Big. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but tanks in the creek, I told you. We getting it guys, we getting it over here off the highway. You got split? Yeah, I got four. Alright then. Got him. <laughs> Finally. Got something. Let's try to do that again. See you buddy. That was actually the last fish of the day, so I'm now gonna jump you guys into day two where we pick up Becca and her brother Josh and absolutely slay from start to finish some good sized bass. This is where things really start to heat up, so go ahead and drop that like. Let's get into it. You looked right at me and you're like, no. I, I, I couldn't tell. I was, I was looking for your sous vide. <laughs> <laughs> Did he bring the sous vide? Or... Uh, oh, go for the front. Front's easier. Front's easier. Uh, yeah, we've had like 15 combos in here. This should be a breeze. Yeah, I'm excited for today. I'm gonna take you guys to like one of the coolest urban spots. Like, it's dope. We could get kicked out. I want to get kicked <laughs> out. We might not catch much, but like it's a cool spot. It's definitely like a place that most people around here would want to take you because it's a sick truck, dude. Thank you. Yeah, this is the one you brought to Florida and I love oh, it. Yeah, so oh yeah, oh yeah. I forgot. You guys went to Florida? Yeah. yeah. You didn't know that? This is who I went to Florida with. I have terrible memory. You got the, you got the like, you rig probably on told here. me that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saying. Mom can't keep up either, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> We've been spotted. <laughs> We're screwed. <laughs> no, it's uh, just be ready. They're gonna bite. Quit lying. She's got a good one right off the bat. It's a good one, Becca. Quit messing around. No I'm telling you, it's a number spot. <laughs> Becca's on it two seconds with a two pounder. <laughs> Spinner bait. You said you said you caught him right here, right? <laughs> Becca just smoked him. 
<laughs> and that's not, I mean, you just wait. This place will shock you. Now I know why you said you need heavy line, because I just both. Yeah, that. yeah, and hey, do be careful, because like, just be careful. Yeah, the spinner bait might be clutch. I might be rigging one of those up in a minute. Oh, he's got it. No, he doesn't. Ah, yeah, I got bit. Yeah, but I didn't get him. Oh, do you have it? He's got it. That's a little guy. That's a little guy. Ain't no thing. Got him, boys. See you, bud. All right, my first one of the sesh. Oh, God, just got hit. Yes, big time. Didn't eat it, though. There he goes. He's coming after it. Oh, my fish. Eat it. Might be bluegill. I got hit again going through. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yep. That guy, I think he's okay. <laughs> oh, he's a couple pounds. <laughs> he's not bad. He's probably three. He might be bigger. Oh, it looks so much bigger down there. Oh, no. It's like a two and a quarter. <laughs> it looks... <laughs> It looks bad. <laughs> it looks so it big out there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Second fish of the day for me. Oh. Yes, you're on. You're on. Double up. Yep. Double up. Oh, it's a good one too. Yeah. Same area. On the soft rock. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. No way. It's bigger. It must be five pounds. <laughs> oh, dude, little double. Little double. <laughs> Shocking change of events. They decide to eat anything we throw in the water, ladies and gentlemen. That's a, the first double up of the day. We might need a little I've picture gotten, on this one. I've gotten bit on everything so far. You have. This is no joke. Double release. Dude, All right then, kids. On. See you. Hit him with the fist bump. Gotcha. Oh no. Did you see that? It was loaded up. He came off like I. Yeah, he was on for a second. There's definitely some that like I've had some days where I'd cast out there and back to back I got a couple. Oh, go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's pale. They're like not prominent lateral lines. This is fish number four for here total. Five maybe. I've four. caught two. You've caught two. Yeah. You've caught three. No. Yeah. Is this my third? Yeah. Okay. So we're at five. Yesterday, huh? Way better than yesterday. We couldn't catch. Well, Josh got one as soon as he goes ahead of us. Yes. Yes, dude. First cast over there. Yeah. That was hilarious. That was my first cast. Yep. I knew if you went in front, there was no way you weren't going to get bit. What's really crazy, you know, like with this overcast sky, you might just throw that whopper flopper right now. You might break out the revolver. Like no one knew that. <laughs> okay, well my GoPro just decided to like turn off as I set the hook on this guy. But this is a, a solid largey. Got a little black spot here. Nice. Fish number four apparently, because Becca's keeping track for me. She said I had three last fish, so this must be four. Quattro. See you, bud. Dang, they are smoking the saucy swimmer. Everyone's catching fish out here now. This is nuts. Dang, another good one. Barely catching any like dinks. I caught the smallest one, I think, just one. Yeah. yeah. That's gotta be at least 10 fish total now. I think we're at 10. It seems like every time we leapfrog is when the, that person gets bit. No way. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Josh made a friend. He's not going to be able to escape this conversation. I've talked to them before. I catch big channel catfish right here. They try to kick me out. I tell them I live here. Oh, <laughs> that oh dude's God. funny. He was just telling Josh, I fish here at night. <laughs> yeah, he said, he said have a good day, then he kept talking. Like, oh, fuck, he's one of them. Yeah, that's I think they're like waiting for me to catch a fish. Yo, what is going on? I think they want me to like get them a bass or something. Oh my God. <laughs> here. It's a fishing rod. You can land on it. What is happening? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they don't even care. <laughs> Gonna have to make a switch. They seem to have slowed down. Nice, dude. Oh, the hook is off? Yeah, the... the... Um, yeah, Do you see where the worm went? It's in the water then. It oh, was like when it's thrashing, it probably broke it. No fishing? Okay. All right, we'll get out of here. Thank you. 
All right, y'all, we just wrapped up fishing with Becca and her brother Josh. Everyone got on fish, absolutely epic at a sick local Dallas, Texas urban fishing spot. But we have now made our way to another honey hole out in the area. Can't wait for you guys to see this footage. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. If you want to see this one, it's gonna be fire. Catch you on the next one, guys. Peace out. <gasps>